In this video, I'm going to show you how to add pagination to your listing grid using a widget from the JetSmart Filters plugin. So before we dive in, make sure that the JetSmart Filters is installed and activated on your website. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to add a new container, Flexbox, Direction Column. Then I'm going to click the plus icon to reveal the widgets tab, and I'm going to search for Listing Grid. And when it appears, I'm going to click once to add it. Then in the General tab, Listing, I'm going to search for my listing. Next, I'm going to go to Post Number and change it to 3. Now I'm going to go back to the Widgets tab and I'm going to search for Pagination and click once to add it. In the Pagination form, I'm going to select Jet Engine. I'm going to leave the Apply type as Ajax. And now to create a link between the Pagination and the Listing Grid, I'll assign the Pagination widget a Query ID of Cars. And I'm going to do the same for the Listing Grid. So I'm going to select the Listing Grid. I'm going to go to Advanced. CSS ID and I'm going to name it Cars. And that's it. Now they are connected. And now before we're going to publish and preview, let's style it a little bit. So I'm going to select the pagination widget again. I'm going to go to Style, Items, make sure that you're in the normal mode. I'm going to go to Text Color and I'm going to change the color to blue. Next, I'm going to unlink the padding and I'm going to give it two pixels at the top, eight at the right, two again at the bottom, and eight again at the left. Next, I'm going to set the horizontal gap between items to 2, and I'm going to do the same for the vertical gap. Next, I'm going to go to the border radius, and I'm going to set it to 5. Now, I'm going to go to the hover state, and I'm going to change the background color to blue, and the text color to white. And I'm going to do the same in the current state. So the background color is going to be blue, and the text color is going to be white. And now we can publish and preview. I'm going to go to the pagination, I'm going to click on the second page, and as you can see, the content changes, and we see the next three posts. So this is how you add pagination to your listing grid. Now let's head back to Elementor and explore the remaining settings within the pagination widget. So I'm going to go to Content, Controls, and here we have more customization possibilities. The first one is the Item Switcher, which by default comes enabled. The item refers to the page numbers. So if we're going to turn it off, the numbers will disappear. Let's turn it back on. The next option is the item center offset. This feature controls the page number displayed on both sides of the current page. So for example, if we are on the fourth page and we can set the item center offset to two, you will see two pages shown on each side of the current page before the dotted line begins, which is also known as ellipsis. So if we're going to change it to one, you're going to see only one page indicator on each side. Which brings us to the item's edge offset. This option determines the pages that are visible at the beginning and the end of the pagination control. So for instance, if we're going to give it a one, it would show the first and last pages of the pagination sequence. Next, we have the ability to disable the previous and next controls or even modify their labels. In my case, I want to use an icon. But there isn't an icon option available over here. So I'm going to use a short HTML code for the icon. You can find it in the description. So I'm going to paste the code instead of the previous, and I'm going to do the same instead of the next. And as you can see, now we have the arrows. Next, we have the auto scroll option, which means that when you click on the next page, it will automatically scroll up to the top of the listing grid. It's a very useful feature. Let me show you. Let me just add a couple of more posts to my listing grid. I'm going to select the listing grid. And I go to post number and give it 12. And now I'm going to click publish and preview. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on the next page. And as you can see, it automatically jumps to the top of the listing grid. And if it's not high enough, you can go back, select the pagination widget, controls, go to the provider top offset, and you can adjust it here. The last thing I want to show you is that there is another use for the pagination widget. We can use it as a load more button. So all we need to do is disable the items, the next and previous controls, and the auto scroll, and enable the load more option. And now we have a load more button. Let's publish and preview. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna click on the load more button, and as you can see, it loads the next posts. But my suggestion is if you're gonna use the load more button, you might as well use a regular button. So let me show you. I'm going to go back to Elementor. 
I'm gonna delete the pagination widget and I'm gonna add the button widget instead. I'm gonna align it to the center and to link it to the listing grid, we're gonna give it ID again. So I'm gonna go to the button ID and I'm gonna name it load more. And we're gonna do the same with the listing grid. So I'm gonna select the listing grid. I'm gonna go to the load more option. I'm gonna enable it by click and I'm gonna paste here the same ID, load more. And I'm gonna change the post number to three. Now I'm gonna publish and preview. I'm gonna click the button and it's gonna load the next three posts every time you click on it. And this is how you add pagination and a load more button to your listing grid. So that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you in the next one.